ran up a check, I might do it again Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass What's good, June Squad? How you guys doing today? Thank you guys for joining, checking out the video I appreciate every single one of you guys Make sure that you hit the like button um, that, That'll help me get this video out um, but yeah, guys, today we are doing a reaction video to the 2023 Sea Dew Explorer. Yep. We're going to check out this Explorer because they say, you know, it can go far, uh, farther than any other ski. Uh, what else did they say? That it is, um, uh, you know, durable and, and bigger weather you know water bodies and just crazy oceans and stuff like that they say it's the the best of the best anyway so we're gonna check this uh um, video out and see what they have real quick if you guys are interested in any merch guys any of these t-shirts hats go to the link below um all my merch is over there guys that helps me get to all my little rides so if you please please cop a shirt or fund the channel by any way would be greatly appreciated thank you <laughs> but let's go ahead and check out this video um it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be interesting let's go I'm Kendall Paisley from Sea-Doo Marketing Team, and joining me today is our sea product specialist, Tyler Krebs. We're excited to introduce you to a new, fun, and adventurous way to live the sea life to the fullest. The playground for our sea riders is about to get way bigger. The 2023 Sea-Doo Explorer Pro 170 is custom designed to unlock inspiring new destinations for water lovers. As sea first dedicated adventure model, the Explorer Pro lets you ride farther, do more, and discover what's beyond that next bend. So they, they basically said their first dedicated venture ski. I ain't gonna lie, I, I feel a little certain type of way about not, you know, bad things or anything, but I, I feel like all jet skis, um, all PWCs, you can venture far with it. Um, of course, you know, you go as far as the jet ski will take you. Um, and these here, I like the fact that they made them, you know, for specifically for venturing because it gives you all the bells and whistles that you, you need when you're out on the water for venturing. So I like that. Um, but I do feel a way that I feel like that's not the, the, it's not that ski. How can I say <laughs> There's skis out there that can go probably farther and, uh, than that ski is what I'm kind of saying. You know what I'm saying? But that's all if this thing has a bigger gas tank, whatever, whatever. But let's just figure it out. Come on. Let's go. Exactly. Because exactly. in addition to boating and fishing, <laughs> we know our CD riders enjoy lots of other outdoor boy is. And by you got that whole suit going. Boats, that's, that, I, I don't know if that's a wetsuit. Is it? Is, it might be a wetsuit, but I do know that they have like sleeve pants and stuff like that. So it's good for, you know, going through the woods and stuff. You got to worry about bugs and stuff. So that, that is cool. Explore Pro expands they did come out with a new apparel also. From all day rides to multi day trips, maybe with some camping and hiking thrown in, the 2023 Explorer is built to go the distance. Built to go the distance. It's built to go the distance. This new watercraft is tailor made to be extra comfortable for long rides and endless expeditions. Okay. Plus, it gives you loads of options for adding on accessories so you can bring along everything you need for whatever the day or days has in store. It nice. all starts with seeing this <clears throat> renowned ST3 hull with a deep V shape that gives That's, riders a that awesome. That hull is great. feeling of control. Already known for its amazing stability, predictability, and handling, it's also the perfect hull for exploring large bodies of water where things might get a little bit choppy. Then, I inside can see. the hull, we placed the 170 horsepower Rotax 1630 Ace engine. So you have plenty of power to haul some extra gear while also enjoying the fuel efficiency you would expect from a long distance vehicle. Yeah, I can see 170. And then you, you actually have the option too to put a tune in it and make it go a lot faster. 
So that's also a plus. Um, but I mean, it's good gas saving ski. So you, you won't go as fast as you want to, which you don't need to be doing 70, 80 miles an hour. I mean, so top speed on that thing is probably going to be roughly about 60 miles an hour, maybe 58 miles to 60 miles an hour. So, yeah, I mean, do you really need to go that fast? <laughs> everybody's probably saying yes we do we do we do but yeah no that's 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 a good a good amount of power for that i guess distance riding comfort seating comes to mind we've reinforced the seat of the explorer pro with more than an inch of extra padding in key areas that's Putting good you in a higher more commanding riding position you'll also find knee pads to give you some oh, that's even good too. You know, when you put your knees up against it, you can and hold on. No that that plastic does style, wear you out. We'll appreciate the adjustable handlebar Stop. on the Explorer Pro. Stop. Allows... Hold, hold up. Stop. Are you kidding me? Bro, I didn't see that before. Oh, that is bad. Dude, so you can stand up and still have good control you don't have to like keep your arms all the way down um that is great man i guess you get that harley feeling too <laughs> if you sit down that that is awesome oh wow that is great let's go back a little bit that is great for pro it allows for multi-position riding so you can adjust it to different conditions and easily switch between a more active upright position and a more relaxed one. While we're on the handlebar area, I All also right. want to mention right. the heated grips that are available as an accessory with five preset heat levels to choose five from. presets for when you're riding in cooler conditions. Five presets? You're carving across wow. the water on your like, what do you boat? need five presets? It's like, you want it to be, <laughs> I mean, I I don't know. I mean, how hot do those things get? Do you and I figured it'd be like uh like a mile, like a warm, and then you go like maybe a little bit warmer, like a halfway, and then maybe like super hot. Like how hot does that thing get that you need five presets? I mean I don't know. I don't know. I mean you sea do lovers, uh sea do owners too, um may know that and the answer to that question better than me um but i'm i'm clueless i'm wondering why i guess i'll, I'll figure that out here soon <laughs> having some protection from the wind and water definitely adds to your comfort level if the idea of a windshield on a personal watercraft is raising a few eyebrows out there that's okay we yeah like yeah yeah it's kind in the industry and as you might expect the windshield works by creating a sort of bubble around the driver okay on the move Okay. That helps reduce the fatigue caused by prolonged wind pressure, and it also protects you from splashes and rain when you're riding in open water. Sure, okay. it'll help you keep warm on a chilly morning ride, but it vastly improves the riding experience in lots of different situations. Overall, it delivers a more relaxed I mean, ride without all the wind pressure listen, and wind noise. Listen, I get it. I get what the windshield is made for. But you know, and it's and it, a lot of people are not gonna like it. A lot of people are gonna love it. Um, it's a snowboard, a snowball, a snowboard. <laughs> snowball. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I I'm like tongue tied right now. Snowmobile. There you go. Snowmobile. Good lord. Like uh, sometimes my mouth does not work. I'm sorry. Anyway, but it looks like a snowmobile on the water. And, you know, some people are going to like it. Some people are not. Windshield definitely comes off. It does detach. Um, and I think that's really awesome. So, I mean, but it's that's a good thing, though, because I've been, I've rode in, in, in times where it's cold. And that cold wind, you know, does freeze up your hands and your face and your cheeks are all red and everything. So that windshield definitely is a, a plus. I, I, I understand why now they added that windshield. Very skeptical when it first came out. <laughs> you can even hear your audio system better. Got the music. When you're on an extended ride, maybe with some other activities thrown in, no doubt you're gonna to wanna to bring along some extra gear to make the most of your adventure. We'll go ahead and load up. 
because on your Explorer Pro, it comes oh. with massive storage capabilities built oh. right in. The first way to maximize Oh, wow. Hold up. Check that out. <laughs> Hold up. So you got a fold down platform that you can add more link system of uh, you know cargo spaces like the the bag, the cooler, they got some new cargo uh what do you call them storage bins that you can attach to them now. But yeah, I didn't know that. That's awesome. And then it is an extender on the ski too, so it goes even further out. So it's almost like a like a little miniature pickup truck in a sense. Oh, that is cool. Floor Pro is with the included multi-link plate with a huge array of different configurations available. Wow. You've got tons of options for adding on your favorite yeah, but you, accessories. Okay. You notice, awesome you notice, hold up. You notice, let's go back. Let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Configurations available. You've got tons. All right. All right. So you notice they, they switched. I mean, they're putting it all on and taking it all off to show you how much you can actually put on. But that. That big, <laughs> that big uh, cooler there, and it's also a live well too, if I'm not mistaken. But that cooler did not get put onto the last. So look, look at the difference. Hold on. The first way to maximize your cargo options on the Explorer Pro is with the included multi-link plate, with a huge array of different configurations available. You've got. <laughs> See, they even added. Now they added. So you have to leave all the packages off. On the Explorer Pro is the extended rear platform. In addition to giving you three. Wait a minute. I mean, on the Explorer Pro, I get it. Extended rear platform. You can't take all of it. it. It's a cool idea, a cool concept. You to think that you can get all of this, everything on the back of that. And I would, I would be like, yo, so if we could take the big cooler and take the big bags and all that, I mean, that'd be cool. So maybe put some link systems up on top of, on top of that cooler, right? So you can mount the bags on top of that cooler. Look at that. I just, I just uh, gave you guys an idea right there. <laughs> and you could take everything instead of leave it. Cause literally to use that cooler, you're going to have to leave all three of those bags. All three of those bags. So you could have eliminated, maybe had the gas cans on top of that cooler. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You could have definitely took it off. You would just add some pegs to the top of that cooler. And somebody will probably do it, <clears throat> now that I said it. <laughs> somebody will go and do it. They'll be like, that is a great-ass idea. You're welcome. <laughs> Your favorite accessories. Another awesome standard feature on the Explorer Pro is the extended rear platform. In addition to giving you three link attachment points for yeah, cargo boxes that's awesome or too. other accessories, it extends the rear of the watercraft by just under a foot, which gives wow. you extra room for boarding. It also makes the watercraft more stable when it's not in motion or when you're carrying a full load. When you combine the extended rear platform with the multi-link plate, you can actually attach up to five link accessories so you can bring along everything you need for those long rides. Nice. One ultra practical accessory. That's good for people that go to, to, that go to the Bahamas, you know, and they leave from Florida going over. A lot of people want to take, you know, depending on how long they stay over there, they don't want to go over there for like one or two days. Sometimes they want to stay for four or five days, and that consumes of bringing more clothing and stuff like that. And, you know, depending on what you're doing over there, you know, I know some people that go over there and camp on the islands, and they got to take, you know, gear and all kinds of stuff just so you can survive on islands. And, you know, the more stuff you bring, you know, less, you know, places to put it on the jet ski. So that is going to be ideal for people like that to cross. And it'll make it a lot easier to cross with all that stuff. That multi-link plate or the extended rear platform is the 100 liter Link Explorer bag, which is included. The Link Explorer the bag. bag. Not only is it super spacious and durable, that's a dope bag, man. For ultimate oh, yeah. I want that no bag. where your day takes you, your gear will stay dry and easily accessible. That's what's up. In addition to more storage, when I'm on a long ride, I also like to keep all of my stuff really organized, which is why I love the front storage compartment of the Explore Pro. That's, that's a plus for me right there. I love that storage. From a seated position, that's why I would like to own a, a Sea-Doo because of that storage right there. I won't get no ski that does not have that. 
If you'd like to keep organized, then you'll want some Link as far as the boxes to add to your Explorer. Okay, we just correct that. <laughs> These rugged boxes come in 10, 20, and 30 liter capacities and keep wow. all of your stuff safe and secure. They attach quickly and easily to any Link base, and you can even stack them on top of each other, allowing you to really max out your storage capacity. Of course, the longer your ride is, the more snacks and beverages you're going to need. Or if you're going fishing with your Explorer Pro, you'll want a place to stash your big catch too. And we've oh, got yeah. a range of Link cooler options that have you covered for every type and length of adventure. I like that. I like that whole on the water. lockdown no system. No doubt, you're going to encounter some weeds and other debris. With Cedar's unique This is another thing that I love. System, or IDF, riders can clear a clogged intake in seconds. A simple push of a button reverses the pump flow to effortless. I, I need that. <laughs> and you never even have to leave your seat. I definitely and need just that. Like on the Sea-Doo Fish Pro, we've also added angle gunnel footrests to protect the edge of the footwells when you're boarding or docking. They also allow for a wide range of seating positions, as well as provide comfortable and secure position for your legs when you're sitting side saddle on your water. Craft. It looks good on the water. And there's added protection thanks to a heavy I'm not crazy about the bar. Well. This rugged looking feature makes it easier to handle your sea doo whether you're taking off, docking, or beaching. You know what else adds peace of mind when you're on a far flung? I mean, that bar is definitely helpful. Definitely helpful. The Explorer Pro comes outfitted with a Garmin 7 inch touchscreen chart plotter. Oh, and nice. Feature. It features an in haul transducer as well as a token for free access to upgraded regional maps. That's what's oh, I up. like the sound of a GPS and maps. Because whether it's island hopping in the Bahamas or Greece or river riding in Tennessee or Florida, oh, the that's my area. Adventure on the new Sea Doo Explorer Pro are practically endless. You know, it's really got my imagination going. It's going to be a great season, I think. For more information, visit seadoo.com or drop yeah, I, dealer. Yeah, I definitely I say, uh, we'll would love to try that boat. thing out and be, uh, venture. On a hike, uh, around a campfire, uh, somewhere on the beach. And... Bye for now. Yeah, see, I would, I would definitely, um, <clears throat> I would definitely love to try that ski out. And I mean, there's a venture that I want to do really soon, but I've been waiting on a new ski is do the whole St. John's from Melbourne, the beginning, like Palm Bay, all the way up to Jacksonville and just do the whole thing. And um, But I don't want to do that on my ski yet. So that's something that I have in the works that I'm trying to, as soon as I get my new ski, I will be doing. Um, it sucks. I got to wait, but it is what it is, you know. I got to make some more money, guys. You know, guys, you guys help support the cause. It helped me get to these ventures a lot easier. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I like that Explorer. It's really dope. It looks really awesome. Um, it's, it's definitely the outfit is made for what it's for, for adventuring. Adventuring. There you go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, great, 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 great ski. Again, see, you do put out another nice, nice product. And uh, I'm a big fan of the IDF. Big fan. Oh, yeah. But, uh, guys, let me know what you guys think about this uh, new ski. And uh, comment below. Make sure you like this video. Share it. You guys like. But I appreciate every single one of you guys. So, we'll see you on the next video.